This is Neil Schneider for MTBS TV at CES 2012. I'm joined by Roger Carroll, Senior Technical Marketing Manager for Displays at AMD. Welcome to the program, Roger. Hi, Neil. Pleasure to have you here. Now, uh, each year, 3D gets bigger and bigger and bigger, and 2012 is no different. There's lots of 3D stuff here at the, at the AMD meeting room. Uh, and let's start off with your latest graphics card release. I understand it's very innovative. But please tell us about it. Sure. So what we're displaying here is the AMD Radeon HD 7970, which we recently announced and released. Uh, this is, should, is now available in the market. Uh, it is the fastest single GPU in the market, so definitely performance is going to be key, especially for stereoscopic 3D. Uh, this is a very important milestone for us because it is also the first GPU that's 28 nanometers. Excellent. Now, for, for 3D, 3D gamers out there, uh, I understand there's some innovations in, in the 7000 series that go beyond just the performance of the card. Right. So with the, the 7970, we also have new display interface capabilities, namely HDMI. So with 6000 series, the last generation, we supported HDMI 1.4a uh, at 1080p 24Hz per eye, which is perfect for Blu-ray 3D and also 720p at 60 hertz per eye. This generation of GPU uh, supports HDMI 1.4a at 1080p 60 hertz per eye or a total of 120 hertz. And we're able to do this because we increase the bandwidth, the speed of our HDMI. So this is actually, this is very exciting development because for gamers, especially PC gamers, if they were in the desktop environment where they could use alternative connectors like DisplayPort, for example, they could get full 1080p gaming in 3D left, right eye, 60 frames per second. But in the living room, for whatever reason, HDMI was limited to 720p. So this graphics card, I take it, marks the first time that we're able to use those higher resolutions in PC gaming, full speed, in 3D. Uh, am I correct? That is correct. So what you'll find is that the last generation 3D TVs, even though they'll say they're 1080p 120 hertz, or even, in some cases they'll even say 1080p 240 hertz, the input to those TVs are capped. They're capped at 1080p 24 hertz per eye, or as you said, 720p 60 hertz, but no one wants to play at 720p. We all want to play at full HD. And also there are some TVs that supported side by side at 60 hertz uh, total, but that's also not a good solution because you're re basically reducing the image quality. Now, the, the graphics card is half the equation. I mean, obviously, it's very important to put that signal out uh, you know, fast enough so we could get that full HD 3D gaming. But the other side of the coin is the display. Now, this is brand new, I take it, you know, and you do need to have displays that satisfy this qualification. Um, uh, for shoppers out there who are going to be looking for brand new displays to support this, do you, do you have any recommendations? Certainly. So if you want to, to be able to uh, use this technology, the first thing you, you need to know is what is the input capability of HDMI, meaning what is the frame rate at 1080p that, that, uh, that can be accepted by the TV. As I mentioned earlier, even though TVs say that they're 1080p 120 hertz or 240 hertz, it doesn't mean that the input to the TV supports that refresh rate. In fact, I can tell you this, that all the 3D TVs last year uh, are all 1080p 24 hertz per eye. So the first thing you want to look for is that the HDMI input is capable of receiving 1080p 120 hertz. Excellent. Yeah. Or 60 hertz per eye. Okay, great. Now, uh, the other side of the coin is, you, you know, HDMI is one type of connector that, that the new 7000 series supports, but you also support, I understand, DisplayPort. And uh, granted, DisplayPort works very well for a single monitor. What about multi-monitor gaming? So what we have on display uh, as well here is a combination of Ifinity, which is our multi-display technology, and HD3D, which is our stereoscopic 3D technology. So we merged both of them and in our demonstration room we have three DisplayPort 3D monitors as one single large surface or one monitor. So yes, we are able to support multi-display 3D through DisplayPort. Excellent, excellent. And uh, now we've been talking about desktop gaming uh, with PC. The other side of the coin is for notebooks or portable computing. Have there been some new developments in, in that area as well? Well, the, the first frame sequential uh, type of 3D notebook that's supported by AMD was the HP NV17. Uh, I believe they will have an update to that. They will have the same 120 hertz panel, 
but and also using embedded display port as the interface and using shutter glasses. Uh, the upgrade there is that they will be upgrading to an HD 7000 series. Okay, excellent. So with the modern notebooks come the modern uh, processing power. Right, and the performance. Right. Okay. Now, this is a bit of a zinger for you, Roger. I'd be, I'd, I'd be negligent if I didn't ask the question. One of the things that 3D gamers are very excited about is multi-GPU processing. So the Crossfire, of course, is, a, is an excellent example of that. Are we starting to see some progress in the realm of Crossfire support in 3D gaming? Well, for those who are waiting for multi-GPU stereo 3D support from AMD, stay tuned. We are going to release a driver that will support that. Okay, excellent. And when we're talking about support, are we talking about HD 3D native? Are we also including, let's say, TriDef, like DDD drivers that AMD works with? We will support both native games and also games that require middleware. Which actually, I also wanted to point out, and now I'm going to throw a zinger at you, uh, in our demonstration here, we're playing a game called Deus Ex, and this is a native 3D game. In our Ifinity uh, 3D setup, we're, uh, we're showing Dirt 3, which is also a native Serie 3D game, which really shows you the trend that game developers are taking Serie 3D um, seriously now, and that they are taking advantage of the SDK that we released, uh, AMD Quad Buffer. So in the future, we do expect to see more games supporting Stereo 3D natively, but of course, we will continue to work with DDD to support uh, the games that require middleware. Excellent. Well, thanks for joining us, Roger. We've been talking to Roger Carroll from AMD, and we're, this is Neil Schneider for CES 2012. Thanks for watching.